No trespassing signs out in front of 441 Bedford North, presumably because of this address's local infamy, as the last place Ashley Parlier was seen gone since 2005. I sit here missing every single person of my immediate family constantly. Nicole Campen, Ashley's sister, says Ashley took off after an argument with their parents. She'd done it before, but this time, Ashley was gone a lot longer. And they were starting to get concerned, like she'd never been gone for that long. But again, she'd also never been that angry. Because when they confronted her, she was very adamant that she was not pregnant. Family thought for sure she wouldn't miss her dad's 50th. They were hoping that weekend, since we were celebrating my dad, she would eventually show up. You know, and so we were all kind of like just holding out that hope that she was going to eventually just come. But for 16 years, her location remained a mystery until a break in Ashley's case this year. A man, Harold Hallman III, admits to killing Ashley after he's arrested in Pennsylvania. There, he's charged in the deaths of two other women, Erica Schultz and Tiana Phillips. Authorities believe Hallman is a serial killer. Detective Jonathan Pignatero interviewed Hallman. It was quite uh, informative. Uh, he, was, uh, he was very, very open, very upfront, very matter of fact. Matter of fact about a truth that is too horrible to bear. These three women were the victims and they're more important than his name. They're more important than his mug, mugshot. They are important. They are our family. And we want them remembered. Ashley reportedly dated Hallman on and off. Same goes for his other two victims, Tiana and Erica. Family of all of the victims hopes by sharing this story that if there's another family out there that is victimized by Hallman like theirs, that seeing his face, that getting his name out there will help bring them closure as well, asking anybody if they've seen that man or have any concerns to contact their local authorities for an investigation. All right, they believe he's a serial killer. How, how do you determine if this suspect is responsible for other crimes out there? Donald Schweitzer seems like he had some, some level of a relationship with, the, with these victims. And, and now there's got to be uh, a, a lot of investigating, figuring out if there are other victims out there. Yeah, Vinny, I think this is the type of serial killer that kills people that he's in relationships with. So if I were investigating this, I'd want to know who he's been with throughout his life and where he's been. You know, there's obviously the DNA and all the other things that we now take for granted. But in this case, I would study this guy's life as if I was writing a book about him. I want to know every single detail and see where that leads.